So these pop-up pins pop up over here are pretty cool. Last for a really quick aligning of the sheets. So there, that quick cut out for the router. He broke the laser curtain. All right, so what I just did there was there's a laser curtain right here and I stepped inside of it. So that shut the machine down. So this is total robotics here. People need to stay away. In case you don't know, this is Tyler with FastCap. Hey and, and he has so graciously decided to give us a little time and tell us about this awesome new machine. So I'm looking to hear about it as well. Yeah, so this thing is a real step up from where we were before. This thing's got a beautiful HSD spindle up to 24,000 RPM. It lets us cut about anything we want. Another cool thing this has is a 10 position boring head. So that means we can drop down 10 drill bits at the same time on 32 millimeter spacing. So we have four inch holes on our bulk bench. We shifted them a little bit, so now they're 96 millimeters. So they're only a couple millimeters different, but now we can drill three holes at a time. Instead of doing one little circle at a time, it's dropping three Forstner bits at once. And that alone is about five times faster than what it was before. So that with increased movement speed, stronger router, stronger vacuum system, we're able to cut the time by 66%. So we're three times faster here with this machine building our pump benches, and that means we get to pass the savings onto you guys. So the faster we make them, the less it costs us, and the less you guys are having to pay for it. So some other cool features here. It's got an automatic tool touch-off plate. This means it can measure the tools to a very, very finite distance and give us an exact measurement, which means more precise cuts, more accurate cuts, and just a lot less defects coming your way. So does that mean when the when the tool is is it's an auto changer? Yep. So it touches there to yep. say this is zero point. Yeah. And it knows. Yeah, it knows, and it is accurate to within a I think it's a thousandth of a millimeter. So more try, accurate than your. Try to do able. that in your wood shop with your router and your <laughs> template. Yep. We got a like you said we got a 12 position tool carousel on the other side there. You can kind of see it if you come over here. Some more lasers down here, safety first. When you get a machine that moves this fast, you really want to make sure no one gets hurt. So under here, you can see our 12 position tool changer. We got a couple tools up in there. It's got all sorts of light sensors and distance sensors. This machine is really, really smart and it just correlates to a really fine product, really high quality. Over there, we got the auto lubrication system. Keeps all the rails greased really nicely. We don't have to do a thing. The S has did a really good job with the maintenance. There's a little window that pops up on the controller over here when it's time to do maintenance, so we don't have to worry about it. It goes through step by step on what you need to do, how you need to maintain it. Here's the controller. We got some, uh, some of our programs here. So these are the three different programs of the Polk Bench. You can see a little preview there. It's super easy. You can tell it how many you want to do, how many it's done, how much time it's going to take. So now we can cut a bulk bench out in 24 minutes, which before it used to take over an hour, so almost wow. an hour and a half. So we're really, we're really up in the efficiency here with this machine. Plus, plus with the um, the cutouts now that you're using a forcer bit instead of a router bit to cut it out, you get perfect holes. Perfectly round. No movement at all. Perfectly round. Yeah. Before there was actually a little bit of a oblong hole because okay. that CNC just 
the way it was moving and the way the tool was, it wasn't really getting the best quality hole. But now that we have a true 20 millimeter Forstner bit, it's gonna fit all your bench dogs perfectly. It's gonna be an absolute perfect 20 millimeter hole. So we're gonna get a more precise bench and we're gonna cut the, the labor cost, which means we can keep the cost of the bench down. Exactly, yeah. There might be a price cut here in the future. We'll set over there. So we got a big be Becker pump. It's a 10 horsepower Becker pump. It pulls 24 millimeters of mercury, 24 inches of mercury, excuse me, which is uh, really high quality. It really sucks it down. We've had pieces that were this small. I mean, we can suck down a piece this small in the table and do all our machining on it, and it won't move at all. So, so is that? And so that pump is for holding things down. Holding the backing down. It's going through this MDF board underneath here. There's some backing tubes. It's only a two section, so you can either have this side of the table on or that side of the table on. And the machine actually knows, based on your program, we'll turn the vacuums on automatically for whichever side you need. It goes through this MDF, which kind of diffuses the vacuum. It's porous, so the vacuum kind of disperses around there and gets a really even pull down on this material. If it ever doesn't have enough vacuum, it has a sensor for that as well. It knows how much vacuum it's pulling down and it won't let you run if it thinks parts are gonna shift. So it's really looking out for you and trying to uh, make sure you don't waste anything, have no defects. This is another upgrade that we have now. These are pop-up pins. It's pretty standard in the industry, but we didn't have them before and I'm really excited about them. When you go to put your wood on, these pop up and it's a really easy locator system, really easy to push your wood up and get to the origin in the exact same spot every time. And then when you're done with it, they pop down and get out of the way and they never get hit or anything. It's a really awesome system. So it, when you put your plywood on there, factory cut stuff if it's not perfectly square does this machine account for that perfectly square yeah so that's in the program we actually do a little shave around the outside we take off a millimeter and a half from the outside of all of it so even if it's not perfectly square we do just a little cut on the outside to make sure that it will be when it gets to you guys can we uh, turn it back on and see it work yeah so let's turn it back on and see it work and this time I'll stay out of the yellow line area and these lasers so that I won't shut the machine off next time. <laughs> All right, it's as simple as pushing this button. Coming out here and press and start. Take right back up where it was. Small pieces stayed down with the powerful vacuum. You can even take these and make something else, some signs or... Now this piece here, something. it seems like you could have made another one of those. We could, yeah. We could actually. And that's the beauty of this program, is each of these pieces is modeled individually. So if we need one more piece of this or one more side piece, we can just say, hey, we need one more, type it in it'll automatically cut out just one of what we need. Automatically, if I want five of these side pieces, it'll nest them all together and cut them out of the sheet. So it's a really powerful program. We could save this for uh, other in-house use or other projects or anything. Yeah, the, the best part is these, these new holes. And you can see under here, it's, it's barely cut through them. A lot of them, they're so fine, we have to poke these little plugs out, but I mean, they're just beautiful holes, perfectly round. 
are awesome. And it's kind of fun. It's like whack-a-mole or something. All right, Tyler, I think for taking the time to give us a tour. Absolutely. And I look forward to seeing lots and lots of Paul Compact Vintage coming out of here. Same here, Ron. Thanks. Yeah.